Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the query builders. So these are some key points that we are going to study in this video. So first of all we will learn what is the query builder, then uh, how we can get the data from the query builder, how we can put the fair condition, find count, insert, delete and update and all kind of operations. So don't worry I am not uh, just going to put the database command inside the uh, Laravel function. I will just show you the all uh, very important functions. They will uh, they help you to get the touching with the database, and they are very lightweight also and the time saving also. All right. So uh, now let's uh, see that uh, first of all, what is the query builder? All right. So when you just want to fetch the data from the database or put any kind of operation on database but you don't want to use the eloquent or the model why because you just want to interact for a moment with your database so uh, for a very small query if you are just going to uh, make an eloquent or model then this is not good because uh, uh, you just have to put a one or two line of code and for that you are just creating uh, extra file and importing the files and all, all right so that's why query builder is so important and now let's uh, see uh, the query builder inside the code also so all right so i already made a controller which is uh, i just make in the previous video guys if you don't know how to you can configure that database and how we can connect the database with the laravel then you can watch your previous video link is given in the description box all right so this is code about the previous video so i'm just going to comment this code and i'm just going to write the code from the very scratch all right and i'm just going to show you the uh router also which I just uh, made in the last video so I'm just going to show you this query will be here right and this is my router for that all right so now let's start with that so first of all uh, as I told you in the last video you have to use the facet DB class to use this all right so I'm just going to start with from here so I'm just going to take a first of all I uh, I'm just showing you show, show you that how we can get the data from the database without putting the query or uh, just uh, simply with the query builder right so we have to use a dollar users and use dollar sorry db with the db you have to just put the table function and inside the table function put the table name let's say users is my table right uh, let's check out my table name I actually forgot that inside the database so my table name is user right so just use the user here and at the last you have to use the get function also fine so now let's see uh, and with that I just have to print also dollar users now let's check out the result here and now you can see that we got the three results with the last id 3 and first id 1 also we also have the three results here okay so if you want to see this result inside the json then you can just simply return here and you will see the result inside the json also all right so now let's say that how we can put the where condition also okay so for that i'm just going to remove the return for now i'm just i just going to do with the printer everything all right so for that you just have to wear function there just write here where and let's say you want to make a wear condition on the name all right so let's say you want to search with the tools okay let's see and let's check the result here now you can see that we got the one result uh, from the database if you want to confirmation this is the email id and this is the address so we got the everything here okay and now let's see that how we can find it uh, let's say i just want to find the id where user uh, uh, find the user with the id all right so for that you just uh, don't need to them you just come here and just put here find the id name is three okay and now let's see okay so let me check what's wrong with that uh, yeah, i think i just use the wrong thing which is the fine not fine and let's see now we got the third result 
okay so let's see i want to check that how many results are present in the database then i have i can use the count function and there's no parameter so okay so we have a three result as you can see here okay so now uh, let's see that uh, if we want to delete a user then how we can do it okay so so let's say i want to delete the user uh, where name is tony okay so for that i just have to simply write here a where condition first of all okay so i'm just going to write here a where condition where name is john tony and after that i just have to use a delete function okay and now let's see if it will return one that means the result is deleted okay uh, now let's check there's a two result uh, one is deleted here and guys if you want to try to delete once again it will return zero that means there is a no result found or anything else so because this result is not there so we cannot delete it all right so now let's see how we can insert a new result okay so for that uh, i have to use the insert function and inside the insert function i have to use an array so in the array i am just going to add some key and uh, value pair of array also so just like name and uh, name i want to put like key man okay and uh, uh, second thing uh, we can put the email address email address is like heman at the rate uh, test.com all right and at the last i can add the uh, address okay and in the address i'm just going to put in here like uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nice all right so now insert function is ready and now let's try to insert it just refresh it and you will see that there is a one thing that means this is inserted all right okay so now let's say you think that the email address is wrong you want to update it then how you can update it all right so for that you have to come back here and just use the update function here okay so first of all just put the where condition in the where condition i just want to put the where name is uh, he man uh, just remove it from here and uh, just use update and in the update we also st uh, still we have to use the okay, that's my bad i just have to use uh, two parameters so I just have to use the array here and inside the array I just put the email and email ID should be like uh, he man iterate one two three dot com that's okay so now let's try to update it or you can see that the result is one here and uh let's refresh it then now you can see that we got the updated he main result id here also so these are the very important and i hope that uh, you have to use them everywhere so uh, so that i just introduce these function so let's uh, see one or two more important function also here so you can use the avg on id let's say then it will give you the I, uh, uh, average of anything so i don't have any numeric field except the id so let's find the average of id then you can see that 2.3.3 all right then you can calculate it here so if you want to put the sum then it will sh uh, show you the sum also right so you can use the max also 
so it will give the max which is the fourth head is max so, all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video